what is going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video I'm gonna share with you another cheap um, console buy it's not a PS3 but it's an Xbox One X and it's also one terabyte so I got this from from a guy for 50 bucks today and um, he said that it does not display anything on the television so what i'm gonna do today is just gonna show you guys the console and also do just minor troubleshooting just to see if i could get it um displaying anything if it doesn't display anything then in my next video i'll try to do something like um take it apart and look at the hard drive and stuff try and change the hard drive all right so let's go ahead and uh show you guys oh yeah the next thing is that he said that he got it from from a auction so I don't know how much he paid for it but I got it for 50 bucks and that's the auction thing right there the box does seem pretty pretty good doesn't seem damaged that much but let's open it there's this thing right here I don't know what's this for maybe oh yeah not too sure what this is for. This is the console, but just gonna put this on the ground for a bit. Inside the box. Uh, HDMI cable. And the power cable right here. Okay guys, so this is the console, uh, it doesn't, wait a minute, it doesn't seem like it was taken apart, I, I think, it does look really good, no scratches or, or anything like that, it does look really really good, let me check the back again. So right here we have one screw. Over here we should have we should have another screw right here, I believe. Yeah, I don't think it's underneath here. I think it's right here. But as you all can see, uh let me look. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it was taken apart. Also, guys, before I hook it up to the TV. Um, the HDMI port does seem to be in pretty good condition. It's not shaking or anything. And none of the pins are bent or are risen off, the, off, that, off that flat piece in the middle. So both HDMI is in pretty good condition. None of them is damaged. So I don't know what could be the cause really why it's not displaying anything. As I mentioned before, I'm just gonna try a minor, a, mi a very minor troubleshoot. And if that doesn't work, then I'll make another video taking this apart and checking out the R drive, if the R drive is dead or something. But um, yeah, for right now, we're, we're just gonna do the first troubleshoot and see how that one goes. Okay, everyone, so I have it hooked up. I have it hooked up now, so I'm gonna press the power button and let's see what happens. Okay, so I can hear the fan and I can feel the heat from the back of the console. 
so it's definitely the fan is definitely working but no display just the same so i'm gonna turn off the console and we're gonna try to reset the video output to 720p and let's see if if that works if that doesn't work then i have to do another video troubleshooting the hard drive so to do this you have to press the eject button right here and then press the power button at the same time so press eject and power button at the same time all right guys so actually 640p it comes down to so we got this preparing console i don't know why I have no idea why but uh, it, it's it's on the screen we have it up on the screen I guess the next thing we can do right now is just wait wait what is it doing uh, I, I don't know I don't know maybe maybe they left the console like this before like maybe it was working before and they did something and it came to the preparing console section and uh, maybe just that messed up right here and they left it like this or something I, I don't know I don't know but this is gonna be a long way probably this one's gonna be a long one guys okay guys so it's been on the preparing console screen for quite a while so i'm thinking that i might have to change the hard drive out for a new hard drive and uh install a firmware update and see if that works but before i go to that i'm just going to turn the console off again and then turn it on back and see what happened if we can actually move from this point right here so i'm just going to turn it on the original way which is just pressing the, the power button So let's see if the console moves from the preparing console screen or if we get the no display again. Okay, so this is good. We get the preparing console again. So this is good. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on, the console preparing console just go away but wait a minute all right so <laughs> we got something going on right here don't turn off don't turn off or unplug your console so we got something going on so this is good hopefully it boots up regularly and uh, I have a Xbox one X for 50 bucks no controller but that's pretty cheap to get I actually have a controller right here so this is mine my original um xbox controller i had maybe like uh three of these but i have only one now so i might get back a few more but yeah hopefully the console um prepare itself boots up and um I can have a working Xbox One X. I have a PS4 Pro here. So the Xbox One X, I would put it right here on the wall, close to the to the PS4 Pro. And down here, I have the PS3 Slims and the PS4 Slim, my jailbroken PS4. So yeah, this would be a definitely good buy for me, guys. Come on. Come on, work for me. Let me check the camera if it's still recording. Yep. All right, so fingers crossed. What else is gonna do? All right. All right. Let me get my controller. So I should. 
Okay guys, so unfortunately I was running out of space on my phone to continue recording the Xbox and also I was running out of hard drive space on my computer that store the footage that I'm recording the Xbox with. So I was running out of space on both devices. But the Xbox does boot up fine, it works great, everything works. I can also make a video in the future with an update showing you guys the Xbox One X working and stuff. All right, so that's it guys. Sorry I couldn't show more because I was running out of space on my devices. But if the video was helpful, Give it a like, share the video around, and also I will see you guys in my next video if I purchase any other cheap console out there. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.